Yes, oh, you've heard it before and uh, you'll probably hear it again. They certainly don't make cars like they used to. Hi guys, Fernby with you and welcome to Car Mechanic 2015 and for those who have been with me before, uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to 15 minute makeover. It's a series where we pull a car out of the garage here and see if we can't repair it within 15 minutes. So we've got four cars that we can choose from this time around. The Katsuguri Katsumoto, the Royal Crown, Maserati Quattroporti and one of my favourites, a Delray Custom. So it doesn't take a genius to work out which one we're going to choose this time. Of course, the Delray Custom. So we'll just go take job and we see what we can do on this particular one. Wait for them to load up. But yeah, they are nice looking cars, the old Delray Custom. Let's have a quick spinner in. The old girl. I oh, don't know, just something about the shape. Uh, of the uh, of the car. Let's actually have a look inside of it. Everything's chromed up. And yeah, so you've heard it before, and uh, you'll probably hear it again. They certainly don't make cars like they used to. So, but anyway, enough lolly gaggle. Uh, let's have a look what we've got to fix this car up. So, car is hard to control. A list of parts that we need to discover and repair or gearbox faults. Again, parts that we need to discover there. Now, a repair and parts uh, minimum condition is 78%. That's our magic number today, 78%. So all parts need to exceed 78. So let's go to this one and see. Car is hard to control. Now, we can either put it on the test path. Actually, that's what we'll do. Move to test path. And we'll run it through there. And that should give us a fair indication of what parts actually need to be taken out and repaired or replaced. So just testing those brakes as we go through the uh, press and hold brake. And once we get through this test pass, it actually gives us a, a report on what it actually has found. Moving on to the suspension tester. Gives us a bit of a shake, rattle and roll. We've got a couple of things that do sound a little bit sick there. You can hear rattling and clanging and carrying on. Test complete. And what does that give us? All pretty good condition actually. There's a lot of, lot of parts there we don't need to touch. So probably saves us a little bit of time there. Yeah, you didn't actually discover anything, which which is interesting. Let's uh, pop him up on the hoist and see whether we can actually discover the parts ourselves. It's saying that the car is hard to control. Let's get this front wheel off and see whether what we can find. Oh, there's some parts there that are uh, quite obviously going to need repairing. So that outer tie rod, that one there, yep, outer tie rod, so you can come off. Uh, that steering rack looks a bit sick as well, so he's going to have to come out. Not got anything else on this side, I wonder. Not noticeably, is there? Alright, we'll, uh, we'll pop her in this other side and get this wheel off. If uh, that side outer tie rod is was knackered, you would presume that this side, yeah, would presume that this side's outer tie rod is knackered as well, which it is. So the inner tie rod and steering rack, sway bar, looks, he's gonna, looks like he's going to need some attention as well. That might be just about it for the front end. Let's come down to this back end and see what we've got going down here. Uh, leaf spring u bolts, so they got to come out and get replaced. That 
might be just about it from this. We'll just pop this uh, drum brake a drum off just to check the shoes and the wheel cylinder the, and the uh, the drive axle. They all look fine, so that uh, that brake drum can go back on. Uh, not the tire; he can stay off for the time being. We'll actually need to get this tire off and uh, see what we have on this side. Yep, another uh, leaf spring U bolt. Now those bushes look okay so we should be fine there let's go back to our parts list and see whether we've actually found all the parts that we need to so car is hard to control we've actually located all those parts there as you can see by the uh, the red crosses there repair or gearbox faults obviously we need to now pop over to our gearbox not quite far enough get out of the way pole Now the uh, only way into the gearbox is actually take this uh, this rear drive shaft off. So four bolts down this end and four bolts down that end. And now we're going to be able to get into the gearbox. Just need to rip that starter motor off. One of the easiest ones to get off when that when the starter motor is actually accessible from the, the same area. There's a couple of the uh, the engines you need to actually. Uh, lower it down and access it from the uh, the engine bay, uh, but on this particular one, it's just while it's in the air. Last nut coming out there, and that clutch plate looks a bit knackered. It certainly was at 17%. That would not surprise me if that's all the parts, you know. Clutch plate and clutch release bearing. That's in fact what it was. So 78% is our magic number. And we'll head over to the repair table and see if we can't repair. Whoops, up to 78%. There we go, 79%. So that's as far as we need to go. So again, it's just sorting by condition. And again, that's a personal choice. I personally like that because it puts your damaged parts at the top of the list. But uh, if you want to sort them by uh, by arrival, then uh, you go right ahead. Uh, condition and uh, clutch release bearing is a first one. So we're going to the body shop and gearbox clutch release bearing. Back to our inventory, get rid of that. Exhaust system was fine, brakes was fine, running gear is our next concern. So we've got two outer tie rods and one inner. Two outer tie rods and one inner. A leaf spring U bolt, two of those. A leaf leaf spring U bolt, two of those. Steering rack is the next contestant. Up to our search bar, steering. One steering rack. And sway bar front and link B, two of those. And I would think that's just about it, to be honest. Let's just check that we do the lowest one is 79, and I think our magic number was 70. It is, in fact, 78. So we've actually repaired or replaced the, all the parts that we need and it's just a matter of getting all those parts back in and we should be done for this particular repair so leave, get in there leave spring you bolt thank you very much for playing the game now there's only one on this side so we can quite happily put this tire back on what i normally like doing is getting the, uh, all the parts on before we put any of the uh, the tire on uh, sometimes the, the tire actually gets in the way of like if I put the tire on there, it's just uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to get past it and uh, to these, these leaf springs and, and leaf spring plates. So often just leave the tire on. Uh, sorry, leave the tire off until I finish putting all the uh, the parts on. And then once the tire on, I know in myself that the once the tire's on, then I've actually finished with that quarter. So um, again, that's just the way I play it. You um, 
you may have some, uh, something different, a different idea. Uh, in fact, if you do have a different idea, guys, just pop it down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear about the uh, the restorations or the repairs that you've been doing lately, uh, how your garage is going up, the the experience and, and uh, uh, your experience level, uh, what you've actually uh, spent your experience on. And there's a range of uh, things that you can actually spend your experience on in the uh, in the tool section where you can improve your tools and yep done that way uh, re repair your tools and your and your diagnostic equipment so yeah let me know in the comments section on uh, on how you actually uh, spent those experience points so that inner and outer tie rod going on now and uh, we want to put that sway bar on as well and we'll just tighten him up and that should be just about it for this quarter by the looks of it there Get those nuts tightened up Let's see whether we've got any left. We have got quite a bit left. Uh, the clutch, of course. Uh, the uh, the gearbox, beg your pardon. So let's not forget that starter, of course. It's uh, I'm notorious for forgetting that starter motor. But uh, we shouldn't be too bad on this one, as I was saying, because it's actually a, a standard mode on this one. The, uh, the starter motor just gets bolted straight onto the gearbox housing. So get those bolts tightened up for that uh, the gearbox housing and we're able to put those sta that starter on before I forget the damn thing and the last remaining part which I probably can't reach from here no I probably need to just adjust it slightly uh, is that uh, that drive shaft let's go to get those eight bolts tightened up on that drive shaft four at the front and the remaining four down on the, uh, the gearbox so, and let's check our inventory. Nothing left in our inventory. Just checking that we do have green lights across the board, in which we have. The car is hard to control, so green lights, as I said, uh, repair all gearbox faults. There's only two of those components, which we repaired up to the, uh, the 78%. And it uh, gives a total earned of $2,200. Alright guys, thank you very much for your company, I really do appreciate it, and I'll look forward to it in the next one.